There are so many things you probably wish you could tell your younger self. Don't date that guy. Don't stress about that test. Call your mom more. This morning, we continue our Dear Younger Me series with Paul, a young man who once faced life in prison, now living a life worth sharing. Dear Younger Me, when you're five, you'll have career day. You'll stand in front of the class, but you won't say, hey, I'm Paul, and I'm gonna be an addict. You'll straighten your tie and say, one day, I'm gonna be the president. You'll have dreams and aspirations just like anyone else, and that'll be evident. At 18, you'll be searching for acceptance and friends. I know you just want to fit in, but one of those friends is going to give you your pill, and you're going to give in. What you won't know is that this is the beginning of the end. At 19, you'll be bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and moved off to college. You'll turn from an occasional user to a weakened warrior, and you'll stop seeking knowledge. Again, you'll surround yourself with all the wrong people. At 21, you'll get hurt with the calling firefighter exam. I know you think you failed and you're not a man. You'll end up in the hospital for a month on pharmaceutical heroin. I know you think you are, but you're not. You're not a failure. At 22, you'll be desperate, hopeless, and addicted to heroin. Scared, lost, and your life slowly narrowing. I know it's scary, but you'll be strong. Your courage and perseverance is something one day many will look up to. So don't give up, and most importantly, I think you should know this. I love you. Still struggling with your addiction, you'll become an everyday user. You'll want to stop, but you won't know how because you're a drug abuser. What you don't know now is your disease of addiction will progress. Your dreams will be replaced with drugs and you'll obsess. And the next step is jails, institutions, or death. It's okay to ask for help, but people that love you will understand. It won't make you any less of a man. And know you're not alone in this and you have never been. The day you're arrested, your two worlds collide shoulder to shoulder. You'll breathe easy knowing that the lies are finally over. Man arrested after overdose, front page news. The mugshot staring back, it will be you. The judge will look you in the eyes and tell you you're facing a lot of time. In fact, he'll tell you to listen. It was life. Your withdrawing body will stiffen. You'll sit in circles, tell of your hells, the money you've blown, ERs and jails. And when it didn't hurt to cry, they'll say it's time to say goodbye. And when you're clean for one year, the judge will give you a second chance. Life will be good. You'll say you wouldn't trade your worst days in recovery for your best days in addiction. Hold on to those words. They become an extraordinary force. They get you through the death of your sister, your best friend Brandon, and even your divorce. And at 25, you'll finally surrender to God. In a world where people only knew you by your shame, Jesus knew you by your name. He'll pick you up and put you on a whole other level. And you'll know God is real because you'll have danced with the devil. Love me. And shortly after that interview, Paul found out that he was accepted into ministry school. So talk about changing your life around. Tomorrow, we're introducing you to a young man who went from living a life of homelessness, sleeping on couches and in someone's car, even on a park bench, to now helping people who are in that same position. So you'll see that story tomorrow on Wake Up Central. And hey, maybe you're interested in writing a letter to your younger self. I'd love to read it. Email your letter to me at the address on your screen, almonteverde at thv11.com, or you can reach out to me on Facebook. Wake Up Central is back in two minutes.